Hello everybody, Floyd here. Welcome back to the asylum. I'm still tinkering with the SR500 a little bit. I'm getting ready to change out the ignition coil. It seems to be okay, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a quality aftermarket unit anyway and get a new wire and new spark plug boot. I'm going to change out the intake boot for the carburetor and I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the petcock and hook the vacuum lines back up to it. So stay tuned, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I got my new coil here. Sitting here is a direct replacement for the factory job. All I have to do is unplug this connector, take the spark plug wire loose right here, pull this out like so. Then there's a couple of GIS crosshead screws right up under here that you take out. I'm telling you, if you're cussing your Japanese motorcycle because your Phillips screwdrivers can't get the screws out, stop what you're doing and get yourself a GIS screwdriver. A set of them. Like this festival impact the They make these things come apart so much better. Anyhow, with this new one, reassembly is just a reverse of disassembly. You just pull the nasty old dirty thing out, put the clean new part in, and that's all I'm going to show you on this because it is literally doing the same thing in reverse. Back to work over here. I already got the uh, coil replaced. I'm going to pull the intake boot off. I already took the air filter and the carburetor loose and got them out of the way. That was just a couple of screws and a couple of seconds with the screwdriver. It just isn't going to take much longer. But it will greatly improve the looks of everything and allow me to hook the petcock back up to the vacuum system. One thing I will tell everybody, a lot of times you'll see me using my power tools for disassembly, but for reassembly and final tightening, I always use the hand tools. On critical fasteners, use a torque wrench. Well, it turns out you win some and you lose some. In this case, I lost one. The aftermarket intake boot was too small for the 36 millimeter carburetor to go into. I'm not sure what was going on with it. It fit right back into the stock one, so for right now I'll just put this on and instead of rebuilding the stock petcock, I'll just get a manual petcock set up for it. I can still ride the thing right now just by putting it in prime, so it's not a huge deal. Well, I went ahead and stuck it back together. That kind of ends to work on this one for a little while. I'm mainly going to ride it around some. I'll still do some things. I'm planning to replace the seat pretty soon and that, but it kind of has to wait its place in line for a while. I have to work on this interceptor a little bit. I've got several other bikes. Most importantly, I have one to show you here that I think I should let you guys follow along with me on and finish it up here. This is a 1963 CL72 Honda 250 Scrambler. I'm doing a full frame up restoration on it. I've been working on it way too long. And perhaps if I have you guys following me along, it might encourage me to speed up a little bit. I did refinish the seat last week. It came out really good. I had to replace the seat pan, put a new cover on it, New seat foam. This 
little stainless steel trim rail was beat half to death. So I spent a lot of time with this jeweler's hammer and a couple of blocks just getting it straightened back out. Now I have to get the rest of it together and get the rest of the painting done and put it back together. So stay tuned and follow along with me on that one. Now, next week, I will be at the Vintage Japanese Motorcycle Club show at the Volusia County Fairgrounds in Deland, Florida, right next to the Fast Lane Swap Meet, which is the first weekend of Bike Week. I'll probably wind up taking my Vespa to ride. This thing is a hoot. Who knows? I have a, plenty of choices. I could even take the little Super Cub if I wanted to. But I'll be there, and I'll do a short video from there for you guys next week. And I will also be broadcasting live for the Vintage Japanese Motorcycle Club from their show on the VJMC YouTube channel about 1.30 in the afternoon. So go check out the VJMC YouTube channel and check that out. Go look at it, see if you like it, sign up, like, subscribe, keep up with live events and stuff that we do around the nation. That's it for this week. I'll post a video for you guys next weekend. Take care. Stay crazy.